Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today on In the Kitchen with Sandy, we are making pumpkin spice lattes. That's right. So simple, so easy, so creamy, so voluptuous. Just, It's just so, so delicious. No more running out to your little coffee shops to get this little gem. It is so easy to make. You can make it right at home. And I'm telling you what, it is better than anything you'll get out, I promise you. For this beautiful recipe, you're gonna need about um, three fourths cup of milk. I'm gonna use some, this is this is pure magic right here, heavy whipping cream. It's, this is what's really, really, really gonna make your pumpkin spice latte pop. I'm telling you, it's just gonna be heaven in your mouth. So we're gonna add about another, I don't know, half to three-fourths cup of that in there as well. This is gonna make it so super, super duper creamy. We're gonna use um, a couple tablespoons of, this is just the canned pumpkin. This does not have the mixture in it of the, the spices. It's just the pumpkin alone. We're gonna use some vanilla. And then I've also in here, I've got, what do I have in here? I've got cinnamon, nutmeg, and sugar. I am not a fan of allspice. If you want to use allspice, uh, you go right ahead. I don't like it. And this is just a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of cinnamon, and about a fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. And this is what I like to use. Like I said, I'm not a fan of allspice or cloves. So I just keep those out. If you want to use them, you go right ahead. And other than this, we're going to need some coffee, a little bit of coffee, fresh coffee. Um, I like to make mine just a little bit um, more on the strong side when I'm making my pumpkin spice lattes. I like it strong anyway. And we're going to use some whipped cream, some delicious, I can't even talk, delicious whipped cream. So um, there's really not a whole lot to do here. So let's go ahead and finish this recipe up and get to drinking our latte. So what you're going to do with your um, mixture here, your milk and your heavy whipping cream, just pour it in a nice little bowl. Make sure that it's microwave proof. We're going to put it right in there. And we're going to add a couple nice tablespoons of the canned pumpkin. We're going to do just a little bit more just because I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little froggy today. And then you're going to use... About a teaspoon and a half of your mixture there. Now, like I said, if you want to um, use the allspice, you go right ahead. Then we're going to use about a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're just going to mix this together until it's well combined. Oh, it smells amazing already. Now, once you get this mixed together, um, it's all right. This is not melted in here yet because this is cold liquid. Look at the color of that. Look how beautiful that is. Um, we're going to pop this in the microwave um, for about one and a half to two minutes until it gets nice and warm. You might need a little bit more than that. Um, you don't want it boiling, but you do want it nice and steamy. Um, so we're going to pop this in the microwave. I'm going to get my coffee ready in my cup, get my whipped cream out, and... It's about to be on. All right, this is perfect. It's nice and it's warm. Oh, and it smells so delicious. And all of a sudden, my house smells like pumpkin spice. So amazing. Um, I've got about a fourth a cup of coffee here, a nice strong coffee. You can use espresso if you would like, but I just prefer regular coffee. Then all you do is you add that Let's go down a little bit. You got to see this beauty. You just add it right into your coffee. Oh, look at the creaminess. Oh my goodness. And then we're gonna top it off with none other than some whipped cream. Oh gosh. You gotta get it open first. Give that a stir quickly. And you're just gonna top it off with some whipped cream. I like it a 
lot, obviously. And then take your pumpkin spice mixture and then just throw this little right over top. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, if you've never had pumpkin spice lattes, you're in for a treat. I gotta have a drink. I should say I gotta have a bite. It's gonna be hot. Yum, yum, yum. No other word but yum. What drink? Mm. Man, and that sweet whipped cream on top of it, mm, that's good on anything. And I mean anything. So good, so good. I definitely hope you give this a try. It is pumpkin season, it is fall. Fall starts tomorrow. Hey, make you one today anyway, just to welcome yourself into fall. You know I love you guys so very much. If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing this. Take another good look at it. Oh, welcome to fall, my friends. I hope you like this recipe. You know I love you so very much. You know I do. I'll see you on the next episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy. Bye.